What a rainy Friday afternoon. Hey guys, I'm just on the road here going up 101 and I wanted to uh, talk about how Google just tried to kill me. Dang it, Google, don't try to kill me like that. Actually, I'm not going to start with negativity. I'm actually really excited because, you know, as I've talked about in other videos about how stoked I am that I have these awesome opportunities, like um, I just was on uh, Buzz Out Loud with Brian Tong filling in for Molly Wood, and now, get this, same day, I get to fill in for Tom Merritt on Tech News Today. Wow, I'm flabbergasted and beside myself and so excited, and it should be a good show, so, you know, it'll have aired, but anyway. Um, but the thing is, like, to get from CNET to Twit, well, you know, I haven't been here that long. Like, if, uh, by instinct, I'd take the Bay Bridge and, and go up 80. But uh, I asked Google Maps, and it's like, oh, so much faster. You just go, cut through the city and take the Golden Gate Bridge. Thanks, Google Maps. Google Maps sent me through Lombard Street, and I understand if you're not a native, don't understand, but, but Google Lombard Street, and you'll understand why Google was trying to kill me. Um, that said, it's just kind of interesting that like I have this dilemma here because you know one show ends at 11:30 and then the other show uh, prep begins at two, and then I've got to do the lineup and stuff. So really, I'm supposed to be there in 15 minutes, but it's probably gonna be late. Anyway, um, why can't I just have Scotty to beam me up? Scotty, where are you, man? Beam me up. Come on, like where's my doo -doo -doo, you know thing? Like that's not fair. That we don't have teleporters, you know? And I want the, the transporter from from Star Trek. But the more I think about it, the more I realize I don't. And it's because I love my motorcycle. And this is, I guess, a video blog about why my motorcycle and the internet are like a teleporter or something. Because if we had transporters, well, then we wouldn't need that beautiful bridge that I just crossed, the Golden Gate Bridge, right? Who would maintain that? Because we wouldn't have cars or motorcycles. And then like those awesome gargoyles of Oakland, uh, the protectors on the coast, those those cranes that pick up the containers off the ships, right? Well, we wouldn't have container ships because everything would just teleport, right? Well, we wouldn't have FedEx, we wouldn't have UPS, we wouldn't have, you know, uh, Virgin America or Delta or United or any of the airlines or, or really like entire industries, like so many industries are reliant on transportation and just it's interesting to think about what the effect that would have on our society because the, the price of semiconductors would plummet, the price of of, of everything, of, of furniture, you know, Ikea, like it's all based on, you know, these costs of, these fixed costs of, you know, moving real world items around this gigantic planet and it's, it's kind of weird to think like, okay, all of those industries would totally be affected, like think of the just you know, millions of people that would be it without jobs because nobody needs a car mechanic anymore. Well, I guess they would need like transporter beam mechanics. But anyway, transporter beam mechanics are systems administrators of the internet. This is totally what's happening with like, you know, what is it? What does it take? How much fuel does it take to get a bit from, you know, Russia to the United States? You know, it's just, it's just some light on a fiber optic line versus, you know, a flight or, or a boat, right? I mean, I used to buy my music from the Russians and might still do that, but, you know, because it's cheaper in rubles, uh, but to fly to Russia, to buy it in rubles, to rip it to your laptop, to fly back, that's really expensive, but to do it on the internet, it's no big deal. And that's why there's so many industries that are getting the shake up, much like there would be if the transporter beam were real, like, you know, the music industry and, and the, the movie industry, TV, ebooks, anything that become become electronic just becomes this like, I don't know, it's just so weird to think about how locate just moving something, how strange that is. And I so wish that I could just teleport over to Petaluma right now, but at the same time, I'm very happy that I can have two wheels on the road and enjoy the wind in my face. And those are my crazy thoughts right now. But anyway, I'm very excited about hosting TNT, so I should probably get back to this. Anyway, uh, what do you guys think of that? Like, teleporters, man. Crazy. Alright, later.